we present our experience with the retrograde intraorenal surgery without laser. The flexible ureterorenoscope is used mostly with electrohydraulic lithotracy with two French electrodes. Rarely, ballistic lithotracy is used with the nitinal probe. Mostly, our patients had small stones and after failure of extra shockwave lithotracy. Also, with previously inserted WG stent. After deletion to 12 French and insertion of two guide wires, the axis sheath is not routinely used. The fibroscope is inserted over the working guide wire under direct vision. Endoscopic progression to reduce radiation exposure. Also, exploration and orientation in the pelvic glacial system without using radiation. The stone is found in the lower calyx. and it is catched with a nitinal basket. Then it is moved to the upper calyx. Fragmentation with electrohydraulic lithotracy. Extraction of the fragment with the nitinal basket. Retrograde internal surgery had allowed us to manage difficult situations like small stones and failure of extra shock wave lithotracy. Unique kidney with cystinic stones of almost 2 cm and multiple stones of the distal ureter. The fibroscopes move the renal stones to the proximal ureter which are fragmented and extracted with the rigid ureteroscope. X-ray control after one session. When laser is not available for economic reasons, retrograde intraorenal surgery can be useful. In order to have skills and experience, urologists have to start retrograde intraorenal surgery even for diagnosis or for stones that don't require fragmentation.